Audio check. Blazar Gaming, playing City Skylines, that's uh, not what I want, zoom in a little bit, I want to go to Go that line right there. Thank you. Make sure I got water out here. I do. Zone some more farmland. Yes, this is my small towns build. I started with this small town until I felt pretty confident that it was equal liberal. La, 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 la. I'm not sure one cemetery is enough to keep up with this over here. Might need to add a second one. Let's see. Oh. It's only 88 people deceased and nine hearses each can hold 10 people. Hmm. We'll see. But, as I was saying, I created this town first. Got to about 3,500 population. I felt pretty confident that my number of people, to my jobs, to my shopping, was pretty equal. Nice equilibrium. that there was enough people here to supply jobs and enough jobs to create goods to supply shopping and enough shopping to make the people happy. Equilibrium, balance. So then I came over and built a second town until I felt pretty good about it being balanced, which is about another 3,500 people. And then I started a third down. And uh, yeah. We're a long ways from 3,500 people in my next town, but. We've got. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred live out here. So let's keep going. water going out here. Let's 
add more people. I've got high density now, but I'm not ready to start on high density yet. I want to get another low density town of 3,500 people going over here. Oh, I can pay off my loan. <clears throat> Somebody died over here? Oh, somebody got murdered over here. Or died at the police station because these people are too young over here to be dying of old age. Somebody got shanked in the prison, in the jail cell, or something. I don't think any of these guys have even started or even old enough to. Oh, someone finally. Okay, we've got a cemetery over here with no electricity, no water. Well, I've probably got water. No electricity. They've got water. Barely. But they haven't sent any hearses out yet. Why is that? Got a couple of dead people over here. Hello. <sighs> I know what the problem is. This game. Okay. Let me tell you what's going on. City services in this game which includes still in order health care death care fire police are there any other city services? Garbage. These are called city services. They work. These are my assumptions, but this is how I've seen this game work. There's nobody requesting service. So everything is sitting, no, no garbage trucks out, nothing. Somebody requests the city service. Doesn't matter which one of those that I'm talking about. Fire, police, doesn't matter. Well, the police cars are out patrolling anyway. But somebody requests a non-emergency city service. Say it, let's just look at, at uh, well, in this case, let's look at hearses. Dead people, you know, hearses. I realize not everybody's from the United States of America, and a hearse might not be an English word everybody understands, but a hearse is a, a vehicle that goes out to pick up a dead body. Let's say... There's a dead body to be picked up. Cemetery sends out a hearse. And then there's another, and another, and another, and another, till the hearses are out picking people up. It's 
Somebody passes away over here. Let's say not all of these hearses are out. So the next hearse gets assigned to go pick somebody up. Or in this case, this one You'll see this number go three, two, three, two. A hearse gets assigned to go pick up somebody, but they can't reach them by road. So they despawn. And then since that person still needs to be picked up, they get put back on the queue. This hearse gets assigned to go pick them up. They can't get to them, so they despawn, and it happens over and over and over and over and over again. And the reason they can't reach them, there's no highway that connects these two highways. And the person that they want to go pick up is in the other town. This is that issue I said at the beginning of the game. You cannot prevent city services from leaving their area and trying to go somewhere else. And so this particular dead person and anybody after that is never going to get picked up until the entire city complains, everybody starts moving out, your city dies, and you have no clue why. And it's because a city service cannot reach an area that it was assigned to go to. And when it can't reach it, it despawns. And then the next one is assigned. It can't reach it, so it despawns. And then the next one, it can't reach it, and it despawns. Over and over and over again until people start moving out because nobody's picking up the bodies. Now, somebody said there's a mod, a mod that you can get for City Skylines where you paint a district, paint district, and you can keep all your city services inside that district. So when somebody over here dies, somebody over here doesn't get assigned to go over there and pick them up, which they can't do. Because there's no road between these two. They cannot go pick them up. So what I've got to do, I've got to link these two roads. These two highways. So that my game doesn't fail on me. And I said at the beginning of this adventure, that that was one of the issues I had no control over. That there were two things in this game I had no control over. One was the services. As we can see here, it's going to cause this to fail if I don't attach a road between here and there. And the other one is parks and recreation, leisure. Somebody over here decides they want to take their family to a park and they get assigned to come over here. They can't because there's no road over here. They won't, they won't go to the park next door. They end up wanting to go to another town. And there's just, I have no control over that. So I need to 
I guess. Either bring this road through, straight on through and connect it, which I, yeah, I guess that's what I should do. Hopefully I've got enough money to do it. Hope I have enough money to do it. This will be another roundabout thing, but it doesn't really matter because my highway is going to go right over the top of it. Then I guess, well, the roundabout might come in handy. Okay, over here, same thing. My highway is going to go right over the top of that roundabout, right over the top of this roundabout, and connect to this guy. I'll probably have to move some stuff. Just hope I don't run out of money. I'll build a I'll build an interchange out of these roundabouts. That's straight's probably fine. Oh, we gotta go up. We'll stay up. Ah, we need a slight curve. Let me build my bridge first. Let's move a couple things around. And of course, it costs money to move these things, but... This one, same deal over here. Go up one, up a second one, cross. Down one, and down one. To snap to stuff. It's annoying. Why wouldn't it? it? Must be where I placed it. One, two, right there. Ah, why are you going off that direction? Let's start here. That works. Down one. And then down the rest of the way. There we go. 
Okay. Okay. Oops. Bring there. There we go. Now they're the same length. Now, I just got to get these two attached. Fix the overpasses. Oh, I'm almost out of money already. That's annoying. These bridges are going to be expensive, too. Not enough money. Got to borrow money again. Okay. Try this again. Looks like a good bridge. Took half of my money. Still makes me wonder if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Without running out of money, I'm starting to think not. dollars left and I haven't even attached to the roundabouts yet oops I didn't mean to start the clock Borrow more money to finish this. That's all I got. I run out of that. I'm out of luck. Let me set all these to 11. I haven't used these yet, but. Should have enough money for four slip lanes. Ah, uh, why have I got the hiccups? And then I got to reattach all the electricity too. Let me fix the electricity first. I think my city could survive a little while without. without a highway connection, but I don't think they would survive without electricity. Okay. As a matter of fact, I think I can keep going, making money while I do this. This should be But I'm gonna stop the clock anyway, just in case. Okay, that 
works. That works. Never have set up these roundabouts. That works. That works. That works. That works. That works. Let's set up these roundabouts. Well, I can start the clock. Well, I'm setting up the roundabouts because they're not set up properly. But now, yep, everything's working properly now. How annoying. But, you know, you have to play by the rules of the game. Have to play by the rules of the game. Nothing you can do about that. I don't think I meant to give them two lanes turning, but maybe the middle lane can do two things. Go straight or turn. Same thing over here. Straight or turn. Speeds. Needs to speed up. All right. Do the same over here. Oh, I need more people. Huh. Not 
sure why they turn around, but okay. The whole idea of self-reliant, self-contained, self-sufficient towns goes out the door because of services, garbage trucks, recycling trucks. Driving out of the city, exporting goods. The exports are okay. Owner animal farm, returning to facility. I might have to look up that mod for keeping city services in your district. Might have to look that up and figure it out. I don't mind exporting hitting the road. And of course importing has to come from the road. But I don't need a garbage truck from over here coming to pick up garbage over there. And I don't need a garbage truck from over here coming to pick up garbage over there. It's just ridiculous. But there's not much you can do about it. That's the way their algorithms work. Oh, I haven't put garbage out here yet. kind of don't want recycling. Ah, recycling will work here. If I can find a place that I can put it. I need electricity and water. You got water. I need electricity. I got electricity over here. So they're getting electricity from under the bridge. But still feel better if they were connected. This is why roundabouts don't work. enough money to do what I want to do. I don't think so. One thing I can do is, oh yeah, Lane Mathematics. Hmm, 
I'm gonna have to go four lands. So they have a turning lane. Merge lane. And slope too steep. Yeah, it does look pretty bad. Isn't there a way to smooth this out? I don't have any money to do anything. Don't have any money to. Big stuff. This side's okay. Noise. I have to remember that.
little bit of commercial. Water mostly. mean high density not ready for that yet All right, how are we doing? How many people live over here? I might as well zone it, name it, and leave it that way, right? Let's name this little town. So what do I name this little town? Town of 2,237. Let's call this town, start with the letter A. Call it anything that starts with an A. Amityville. 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 The Amityville Horror. All right. So Amityville has roughly 2,250 people. 730 households. How do I district an area that already has a district in it? Oops. So I don't get to count the farm, but that's okay. Farm, park, nope, this one starts with a B. Oops, not a D, a B. Town that starts with a B. Bonneville. <laughs> Oops. 
Oops, it's supposed to be an O, <coughs> not a zero. Bonneville. So you got Amityville and Bonneville. So Bonneville has 2,900 population. So this one's the one that has less population than I thought. I thought this one, I thought this was about 3,500 and I thought this was about 3,500. But I'm wrong. This one starts with a C. It doesn't have to be a veal. And it's going to continue growing. Just need to start with a C. How about Coryville? <laughs> Coryville has 3,300 people. It's already my biggest town. How'd that, how'd that happen? Did I accidentally put some high density out here? Nope. It's got 1,000 more people than they do. Okay, so I guess it's as big as it's gonna get. Now that I think of it, you can grow no more. Seven hundred and sixty households, seven hundred and thirty six households, eight hundred and forty seven households. Interesting. So three towns, similar size. more movement than there should be. Your recycling truck. Yep. Farm truck. Service truck. See, if people, when I created this town, it was neutral, self-reliant, self-sufficient. People weren't, people weren't coming, people weren't going. When I built this town, it was pretty much the same. Self-sufficient, self-reliant, people weren't coming, people weren't going. Started working on this town to make it the same way. Self-reliant, people aren't coming, people aren't going. Of course, like I said, I cannot control city services. That's why I had to build the bridge. City services had already broken my city, my towns. I think I can pay off one of my loans. I can 
play this one off. But now we've got people all willy-nilly going all over the place. Just because they can. I don't know, maybe, maybe Jimmy here, who was working here, got tired of this place and decided he'd rather work over here on the farm or over here in this store. Instead of this retail store, he decided to go work at this retail store. I don't know. Don't know why Sims do what Sims do. Or it could be Timmy over here became age to go to work and the first job on the queue was over here. Or that, that's a residency. It was over here. So he came over here to work instead of working close to home. Can't seem to keep people at home. They, stand, they tend to roam. And that's bad news. Now, with mass transportation, you can get people. To stop driving. Most places. They'll still occasionally, if they can't get there by mass transportation, will drive to some remote park or plaza somewhere on the map. But the trucks, and worst of all, the service vehicles. Can't get service vehicles to stay home, hometown. They have to go to some other town. And that's annoying. And this intersection is crap because it's got a roundabout. Roundabouts are crap. Roundabouts work when you have no traffic. Roundabouts stop working when you have traffic. I don't have the money to fix this correctly. This is my smallest population town over here. This is my biggest population town. Time to start a new town. I haven't looked at imports and exports in a long time. Okay, imports are down. Exports are up. That's two good things. Imports are negligible. Out, outports, imports and outports. <laughs> Exports, super good.
Unemployment's non-existent. 2%. Build my next town, I guess. Oh, man. Really need to fix this interchange, but I don't know if I've got the money to do it. Matter of fact, I know I don't. These things cost. Forty-four thousand five hundred and eighty. And I need a couple of them. Can I pay this one off when I get over 50,000? I could pay that one off. How much was it originally? 66,000. If I was playing infinite money, I could move this highway over, reconnect, put a Panavia here for these two places in the highway, and a Panavia over here. But I don't have infinite money. I could turn on infinite money. If you look at these 
three residential areas. This one, this one, that one. They don't look like they're that much difference in size, do they? Almost 3,700 people. Almost 2,500 people. So these two are closer in size. This one's a thousand more. pay this off shortly. It's my next milestone. Ten thousand people. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to fix these intersections. I need to get, I need, again, I need to throw the roundabouts out of the game. Even though I realize there's one thing I forgot to do with the roundabout. Sure that it's going to help anything. These guys still can't move in until these guys get out of the way. Definitely need. One of these dudes. And then another one. One here. Separate the two towns. One here for the main highway go through because these would be too close together if you put them here and here be too close together so I need to put one here and one out here but we have to wait and wait and wait for money 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 money
I need about, no, I need more than Seems to work okay. Oh, I bet that broke. Back up to 67,000.
it's working better. Had to give these guys priority and those guys have to wait. Don't know that we need the two lanes anymore. Can't change it now because it's slow Tuesday. Fixed it though. Still don't like that intersection. I don't like roundabouts. What I should try to find are decent highway to avenue exchanges. It's gotten to where I use my Panavias for everything. Doesn't matter if it's a highway or an avenue. The Panavias just work. But it's a little overkill for avenues. Avenue doesn't need four lanes in, four lanes out. But these things work the best. I would just need to move this highway over here. Put one about here, one about here. Okay, if I don't start meeting some of these demands, my people are going to all leave. It's about time to put in a cemetery on this in this town over here, I think. I see a couple of deaths. And we are long ways from crematoriums. to fix these fire stations. But they're so expensive. What are these, 60,000 a piece? Yeah, I would need. Do I get refunded? Well, how is fire looking? It's noise pollution. I guess the little fire stations are keeping up, but <sighs> okay. You let one side go, the other side backs up. That's why roundabouts are terrible. All right, I'm not gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. 
<laughs> it's a little redundant. I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I just hope I can afford it. So far, independent small towns isn't looking good. I built a self-reliant independent small town. And then I built a second one. Everything seemed to be going well. Then I built the third one. And at that point, people just couldn't help themselves. People just couldn't help themselves at that point. They started started trying to go other, leave home and go to work at another town. See what it's going to look like. Is a Panavia taken care of? Temporarily move you. What else is going to have to move? It'll cost me a few. I have to move some of my commercial industry. commercial industry is going to have to move. I've got plenty of room for it. Careful. This stuff's going to be expensive. Looks about right. Oh, stop, stop. Just do it. And then this one. Only 14,000 left. That's what I was afraid of.
That cost 4000 alone. There it is. Three thousand left. Yeah. That craziness, huh? Because they made that piece so small. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need to set up this Panavia.
probably need to give these guys. Oh, I don't have the money. I have to save some money first. I actually do. Oh, yes. Big mistake. I don't know why the game does this. There's only one way you can go, pal. Oh, malfunction junction. Over here, too. Over here, too. Oh, they're going straight, huh? These are going straight. These are going right. I can see that. You need to go on through. And I need to fix all this stuff. You stay in your lane. 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 None of this three lane closing, whatever some of these guys are doing. Stay in your lane, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. This node here, let's move it. Where's the next node? There. Move it back a little bit. It's a little better spacing. Actually, I'd like to move this node over a little bit too. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, it's more evenly spaced. Small town started off. Seeming okay. Game logic decided otherwise. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Did I fix that one? Nope. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. I didn't get that one. Stay in your lane. Quit messing things up. Move on in.
Have to do the same out here to this panavia. Look what time it is. Time to stretch my legs. Let's fix this panavi up and then stretch my legs. Let's see where the nodes are. Too close. Definitely too close. So let's just do this. How did it look on the other side? Too close. Let's move that one. Move it a little further. I'd like it to be halfway between this node and that node. That looks about right. That'll do. Stay over there. Stay over there. Quick crossing over. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. And you're... You can be moved. This is the move it mod. Allows me to move things. You can grab things and move them. See, I want this node, this node, and this node to be kind of equally spaced between them. That looks good. I don't like them when they're close together like that, but when it is, I don't let them change lanes.
I think that looks better. Yeah. Okay. So how's this looking now? It all cleared up. Ooh, except electricity. Ouch. My bad. Just about lost all my farmland because I forgot about the fixing the electricity back after I broke it. Man. Lost all my farmland. It'll come back now that I have electricity, but that's why I prefer to have multiple electrical connections instead of just one. That way if I break one, yeah. I don't just completely forget what's going on and lose a whole farm because of it. How are you guys doing? You're really busy. How are, how are you doing? Oh, because I had no electricity. You can't assist. How are you doing? You're all busy. All very, very, very busy. And I really need to, in the future, put a little more space between my highways potential highways and towns so that they're not this close. This town should have been further back. This town should have been further back. <laughs> Excuse me. And of course, this side is going to be the same crazy problems. Can't afford to fix it right now, but this will have to go away so I can give it one of these. So my next town I build is going to be further out. Give me some space to work with. Because my next Panavia, my next two Panavias, I've got to do the same thing over here that I did over here. My next two pedophiles are going to go here and back here. And this is going to cut through here. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, I meant to stretch my legs. I meant to stretch my legs.
My city's had a pretty good size demand for people for a while. You'd think since I wasn't providing it for them for a while, they'd be a little upset. No, they don't seem to be so upset. <sighs> okay. Interesting thing is, kind of gotten rid of all that traffic by getting rid of the roundabout. These things work beautifully. What's her demand? Oh yeah, I took away some of their, these guys' commercial, so I need to give them some back. Okay, this is gonna break a little bit of, uh, yeah, my walking path's gonna get broken. I'll need to fix that. But I need to increase this shopping area since I, uh, Fix the power lines first. Okay. Do you have water? Yes, you do. in over here though. It looks so crooked here. Look at it straight on. It's straight. Okay. Give you back the commercial that I took from you. Um, add one crosswalk. And one walking path. They're using my crossing path. All right, it's time to build town number four. Hmm, I almost don't want to. Oh, I've got to make, yeah. I need more money. At least my farm came back. Most of it. Some of it still hasn't come back. Since I robbed it of its electricity. But before. 
where I build town number four. I'd like to fix this side like I did this side. But I would need about 70,000 to do town number four and I need about 100,000 or more to fix this. Yeah. And again, that's why streamers play with unlimited funds. So there's none of this twiddling your thumbs waiting, boring everybody to death. Who are you? Olivia, uneducated child, unemployed, going home. Well, if you're a child, I'm glad you're unemployed. And you're riding a bicycle. And you're going home on your bicycle. Good exercise. Good girl. And you're home. She lives here at Thunder Hill Residence. People out walking around. Do we have enough park coverage? Yeah, no. Not really. Over here we do. Over here, not so much. I'll just be spending money though. Need to be saving money. <sighs> All right, how is electricity doing? Good. Water and sewage, ooh, we're starting to get tight. How's my budget? Oh yeah, and I need to take pay that loan back too. I just need lots of money, lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Fire stations need replacing. Everything takes money. I haven't even started education. Everything takes money. I haven't started high density. Everything takes money. At this point in the game is when I'd start building my business parks. But I'm really trying to try something different. I'm really trying to have the self-reliant, self-contained towns. Amityville, 2,700 population. Coryville, 3,000 population. Bonneville, 3,300. So these three towns if they stay within their districts, are still pretty dip independent of each other. Really, the only things coming in and out would be imports and exporting. I'm importing next to nothing. I'm exporting lots. Here's my generic goods, here's my farm, here's my generic goods and farm. Now, because I'm not producing generic goods in this town, then 
these guys have to get it from over here. So these trucks have to come over here and deliver their goods. And that's what these little purple vehicles are. Yeah, we've got to get some timber industry going. We're not importing much timber at all. <laughs> Our recycling plants are probably supplying. Supplying a lot of our timber goods. That's another thing. These recycling plants produce agriculture, forestry, oil, and ore products that my stores need and my industry needs. Now we're losing people. I knew it was a matter of time. If I don't meet these demands, people get upset. But I'm just trying to save up some money. I think I can get, you know, if I get started, I won't have any money. <sighs> Bet I can pay my loan off. And I'm completely out of money again. <sighs> Sorry. It was an easy fix. I can just go turn on infinite money. Why am I not playing with infinite money on? When I have a hundred cities that I've played the slow way. It's not really any good reason, is it? I have to set it outside though. But I've built over the years a hundred cities the slow way, so why am I wasting my time? Some people don't like it when you play with infinite money. Who do I care? Why should I care what people think? The 
Let's see if we could go out and come back in without the game crashing, without the game freezing up. Unlimited money. Let's see if I can load the game back up. If you're wondering about my previous city, it's still right where I left it. Up, down, up, down, up. Catch 22. People come in, no jobs. People start leaving. Jobs go up, no people. Jobs start going down. People come back, no jobs. And this is what my game does if I don't exit completely out and come back in. I'll wait and see, but I think, I think it's already frozen up. I don't think there's any movement in that little blue bar. Let's set our mouse right there and see if it moves. Little hard drive lights moving. Has it moved yet? No hard drive activity anymore. Small town. CPU's doing nothing, video cards doing nothing. Just has to load it all in from my SSD. Oh yeah, I see a couple things I can do here. Now that I have infinite money, Pay for that money. Have some turning lanes. Better fix things correctly.
you guys have the right of way. You guys continue to move. This side's not as busy. Okay, now that I have my infinite money, let's fix all this. Okay. the wrong button. It's not beautiful, perfect, but it'll do.
snapping all over the place. Uh, uh. <coughs> okay. Let's move this back farther. Oops, I got too far away. Need to get closer so I can see what I'm doing. Not that close. That's it. That's pretty good. These kinds of things you can't do unless you have infinite money. You just have to wait for hours and hours and hours. Good enough. Let me set up these two Panavias while the game's running. See my issue? Thought something doesn't look right. It's because this needs to be four lanes a little bit farther. That one's all four lanes. This one needs to be four lanes a little bit farther. And that one's, yeah. Let's go a little bit further this way. Definitely a little bit further this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna turn these nodes off. No, not off, but no change in lanes. You stay in that one. You stay in that one. I did connect them all, right? Yeah, yeah, it's connected. 
Did I fix the... Nope. The game does some terrible things. This is one of them. I guess that should have been three lanes. Where was I? Got that one. You stay in your lane. 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 I wonder if city engineers play games like this. They go, hmm, I wish I could do this in real life. It's not that big a deal over here. But it will be soon as I add my next town. We go ahead and add some four lane highway out a little further. About that far looks about right. I move these nodes. To halfway between that one and that one. Straighten it back up. Let's see how that looks. It's pretty good to me. See why Biffa likes the Move It mod? I haven't even checked the train nodes at the edge of the map. See if they're broken. Since I haven't started using trains yet. Probably should think about it since I'm exporting so much. Okay, I think that one's fixed. At least I think I'm still exporting. Oh yeah, lots of exports. Need some four lane fixes going on here. I 
hell is here? Let's just turn off these two nodes. They're too close. No lane changing at those little tiny nodes, those little short nodes, those close nodes. Left click, left click, right click. Right click, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click. Mm -hmm. Left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. Right. Too close. Too close. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. Shift S. Shift S. I really need to get over and start my next town. This has to be done. Doesn't have to, but it really needs to. I'd prefer if the only traffic in the game was export, export trucks and import trucks, but it's not the way the game works. All right, I've got my three pretty balanced towns, I think. I think they're pretty balanced. Oh, I can fix my fire stations now that I've got infinite money. These are the more efficient. Even though efficiency doesn't really matter, I would think, now that I've got infinite money. But these are best bang for the buck. Best bang for the buck. If you ever do the maths, you'll see yourself. See for yourself. These are the best bang for the buck. Hey, I've got police. I mean, fire, police. I never put a health. I never put a, um, yeah, never put a health out here. I do have the cemetery. See, my oldest cemetery is here. 1061. What are you complaining about? Not enough customers. Well, the problem is not getting the customers to you. The problem is what you're trying to sell them. They don't want. Want, 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 want. They don't want. They don't want what you're selling. So you need to sell something else. Okay, everything's hanging in there. Garbage is getting tight, but we're hanging in there. Okay, here's my next city. Now that I have infinite money, let's fix my water system. If you don't know what I mean, I've got a water source here. See the water comes up and goes every direction? That's a water source. Got a water source here. 
We got water that comes up everywhere. They're both feeding into this river. This river goes down stream and goes into this lake. I've used this map before many times. The lake's pretty stagnant. Well, it shows that the arrows are moving out, out of the lake, at least at this end. So this is the best place. This end of the lake is the best place to move, to move my pollution makers to. This side of the lake is moving out off screen. So we'll put a water spout. What do they call it? Water drain pipe. Except it's not really water. Well, you could say it's what's it called in the RV world? Gray water. It's your gray water. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth or fifth. Just because I can. I'll just double them. I got the monies. Let's connect everything up. Connect. Why are you not connecting? Out of city limits. Okay. You gotta be able to go somewhere. There you go. I knew you could go somewhere. You connect to there. You connect to there. You connect to there. You connect to. Over here. You connect to over there. <laughs> okay. Now to get you where everything is. Let's just follow the river. Let's just keep following the river. Eventually gonna run into civilization. Ah, I see civilization. Okay. Sewer taken care of. Water pumps. I've got them here. Let's move them. I got two places I can go. I got over here and I got over here. Let's start over here. Yeah, let's put them all on the same side for now. No, let's don't. We can alternate them. We have infinite monies. And let's double them, just like I did on the other side. 
Let's add a new one here. New one here. And new one here. All right. Let's run our water pipe. Let's get rid of this stuff that we don't need. We'll be running electricity soon. Speaking of electricity, oh yeah, they had their own power down there. Do I want to put this down there or one of the water ones? Eight megawatts, slope too steep, slope too steep. What do we got going over here, a mountain? Okay, then let's do this. Can we get 20 megawatts? Yes, we can. And yes, we do. So you supply electricity there. You, I'll just move you over to here. And we're running water pipes out this way. Follow the river. Okay, so. We'll eventually run into some civilization. Right there. Might as well give them their own power supply too, or electric electric supply too. Let's see, do I have any water pipes I want to delete while I'm down here? I've only got the one that's crossing. Let's have, ah, let's let it be. I'm not gonna run two pipes all the way out here. We'll have one crossing. Let's cross it here. Let's connect everything. Now, electricity, different story. Put one on this side, 14 megawatts, 15 megawatts, 19 megawatts, 20. Will it reach both of those guys? We'll see. We got one air. 20. And then electric power lines. Can go here, go along the bank here. You can connect here. Nope. You continue on. You connect here. You connect here. Over here, same deal. We'll have power lines going along here. You connect there. You connect there, you connect there. You connect there. Okay. I th think we're okay now. Let's make sure. Electricity. Are these things all powered? Well, Best way to find out is to look here. Okay, these are definitely powered. Oh, those are powered. All right. So water and sewage are taken, uh, taken care of for quite a while now. 
they're in good shape. Electricity, we're in good shape for a while. It is time, though, to build my next town. My next township. We'll have industry along the river. Commercial here, tucked in by the highway. Residential out here. I want to do this. Like this. Nah, too close. Need to be able to curve into here and connect. Three lanes, curve, three lane highway. I mean, I mean, Avenue. Fix the silly things the game breaks. Or at least I think it's game breaking. I'm not upgrading. Oh, hit the wrong buttons. You go straight. Nobody turns left. It's not game breaking. Just annoying things the game does. Like putting in traffic lights. You never put in a traffic light until you have traffic. And even then you might not need a traffic light, even if you have traffic. I don't use traffic lights. Oops. <laughs> Game put one in. That was definitely no need for a traffic light there. That's pretty fun. I don't use traffic lights. And then there was a traffic light. No traffic light. All right. This walking path is getting a lot of use over here. Very nice. As is this one. Very nice. People like to walk. Okay. Where's my ore? Ore is out of here. But we're not really importing much in the way of ore. We're not importing anything, except some forestry. We're exporting generic goods and agriculture. Even though I haven't even started industries yet. Huh. First time in the game, I'm actually losing money. But I don't care. I have infinite, infinite monies. Okay. We got a demand for people. Let's get some people. 
We don't want to go way out there. Leave enough room for industry and enough room for commercial. Let's immediately start people. People, people, people. Not too close to the highway. Probably wouldn't hurt. Have a sh cut through or two every now and then. That looks okay. All this pollution will wash down the river. I hope. Though it's sitting pretty stagnant in this lake. This is where it's all dumping out now. How far do I want to go? Do I want to get that close to residential? Sure, why not, right? Good place to start. Hmm, getting some strange zoning. Like right there, right there. Otherwise, it looks okay. Commercial, let's do the same. Go down a couple. Yep. Go up a few. I don't think that stopped exactly the way I wanted it to. Yeah, we're not going to need this much commercial, but. I want people to be able to walk to it comfortably. And this is why streamers play with infinite money. You can just build and build and build and build and not worry about running out of money. But I still want to stay with the small town theme and just see how it goes, see how it goes, see how it goes, see how it goes. Let's go here. Traffic lights. We need water over here. Turn this back on.
Where are we connecting to water? Over here. And over here. Just because I can. We have water. Electricity. Got to get electricity down here. Somehow, some way. Let's bring one over here. Across the highway and into this little area. And bring one over here. Across the highway. Into this little area. Now we're going to need parks. Ooh. Parks bigger than I remember. That's okay. I can fix the walking paths. First of all, This can go right to there. You can go right to there. Good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need electricity. I know. I'm working on it. Be patient. zoning we need ooh am I ready to go high residential why not right I have it Fire station, health clinic, police patrol. Sure, we don't have bad roads, and we do. We do have bad roads. I consider this a bad road, and that a bad road. This I consider a bad road. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I need to look at this one. That one should be that one's okay because of the three lanes. You should be straight only. You should be turn only. You should be turn only. 
And everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. Okay. Oh, wow, that came in fast. Fast and furious. Okay. Which means we did need. Are we ready to go education now? I haven't even turned on any education yet. Do I care? All right. Nobody's allowed to commit suicide. Smoking ban. I think it's about time to probably, you know, with high density, let's see what we get. What am I going to call this town? It starts with a D. I've got Amityville, starts with an A. Bonneville, starts with a B. Coreyville, starts with a C. So this should be, starts with a D. I don't know of any Vils, so. Dalton, Dayton, Defeated, Difficult. Yes, those are actually names of towns in a county I grew up, Smith County. Difficult and defeated. Oop, no water. Oh, I went outside. My bad, I went outside. I guess we can call it. Dayton, I guess. Okay. What's our population in Dayton already? 700. Which means I'm probably never going to go any further than this. They need some commercial. I've got high density. Let's see what that does. be overkill. Do you have electricity? You do now. You do now. Gonna need garbage collection over here. But if I put this down now, they're going to <clears throat> go somewhere else to collect garbage out of town. But let's do it anyway. Garbage collection, or I should say recycling, and it needs electricity. So I've got police, fire, medical, 
And we're not going to need a cemetery for a little while. So if I threw the cemetery down, the hearses would just go to another town. More demand for people. Okay. Whatever you ask for, you shall receive. So here's Amityville. 2,600 people live there. Here's Coryville. Currently 1,900 people. That used to be my highest population. Bonneville, 3,400. That's my highest population. What's the problem here? People trying to turn left. This one could probably use a traffic light. Give people a chance to go. Actually, I think I'd rather do this. You guys have the right of way. You guys yield, you guys yield. does these guys all get their chance to go? Might still be a good place for a traffic light. So the second least busy place, this one's the busiest, this one's the second busiest. So... Let you guys go too. These guys over here are the only ones having to yield. Let these guys go and that guy will go. Those guys go. Of course, these guys can't go left as long as those guys are going. So, yeah, I'd say this is a place for a traffic light. These guys can all clear out, and then the light turns red. And then these guys can clear out. Did you run a red light? push through. These guys go, and these guys go. All right, how are we doing over here? Over here, I mean. Okay, we're good to go. Do we have enough parks and recreation? I know we don't. 
Down here it doesn't. So you get a park. Everybody smile, you get a park. I don't seem too excited about it. Oh, there they go. Need one somewhere in the middle here. One more. Right here. That's it. Over here. They need lots of help. Uh, slap one there. Slap one there. Oops. I wanted it against. Not going. There you go. You didn't get to get over either. Come on. Stupid snap to stuff there. Okay. Make sure these are zoned back in. How are we looking? Okay. Put one out here on the corner. That's happier, happier people. Put one on this corner. Happier people. Put one in this corner. Happier people. Down there's pretty reasonable. That's pretty reasonable. That's pretty reasonable. Over here, not so much. Put one here, one here. We'll need one down here. For when we fill in that space, how many people we have over here now? Almost 2,000. It's filling up pretty fast. I don't want to go too much more especially when they need some industry to tide them over. <whistles> Throw on some industry so they'll have jobs. Ah, let's don't put them down here. Let them walk to the jobs. Put them up here. We're going to need electricity. We're going to need a plaza. A plaza to bring electricity over. That brings electricity over. There we go. What? Not enough people? Oh, we're now a small city. We get trains and stuff. Trains and stuff. A yoga garden. Whoopee. Cable cars, monorails, trains. Stuff. 
big city will be our next. You guys don't have enough people to work your jobs? Um, there's 2,000 people over here. Why aren't any of them using the sidewalk here? Hey, 2,000 people, what are you doing? Is there something wrong with this crosswalk? Is it not connected? How about this crosswalk? 2,000 people, where are you? Where are you? Uh, malfunction junction. There's 2,000 people over here. Maybe because they just moved in. They haven't had a chance. Oh, I see one person walking down the sidewalk over there. Terry. They just got in a car. And they're leaving. This game is whack. Didn't somebody over here build a drugstore? What'd you guys build over here? Not enough workers. Yeah, um, there's 2,000 people live right here behind you. Why don't they want to work at your job? Yeah. You did just open up. Yeah, it takes time to post in the newspaper or classifieds. But come on. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a shadow. Shadow of a bird. <laughs> Okay. They're demanding more people. I'm going to fill this in. But some of you guys need to come over here to work. And I don't know why you're not walking to work. Let's fix some of these roads. Left turn only. Left turn only. Left turn only. Left turn only. These people haven't lived here long enough, I don't think, to want to go shopping. I built this too fast. I probably built this too fast. I can see a death wave going in the future. Yep. Yeah. These guys built, now they're going away because nobody showed up. He goes away, he's building a new. Eventually, we should see a lot of people using these. But at the moment, they're just getting settled into their new houses. 
and townhomes and condos and All right, let's see. Electricity, fine. Water, sewer, fine. Garbage collection, close enough. Ah, education. Is it time to throw in a school or two? Uh-oh, I see an issue. Now let's fix everything. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I think it's time to let some people clear out. somebody just make a U-turn. I want to clear out some of this traffic over here and then put in a traffic light like I did across the other side. It's backed up pretty good. Ah, because of the fire. Fire's got them backed up now. We'll let the traffic lights take care of this. Fire's got these guys all backed up. Okay, let's put another fire station out of here. Put another fire station. We got the money. Put one here. Uh oh, no electricity out here. What's going on? Oh, we're just running low on electricity. We can fix that.
How about this side of the river? Same deal. All right, now I got plenty of electricity. Nobody coming to work over here? Nobody using the sidewalks? That's disappointing. What kind of jobs you guys want? Oh, you need educated workers. I see ya. I see what you did there. You guys need educated workers. Elementary school, elementary school. So high density requires education. I now know. I did not know. Put one here, one there. And then they'll need high schools. One at this end, one at this end. Move this over a bit. At this end. See, they need educated, well educated, and one highly educated. So we need a university. University. Where are we gonna put a university? Where are we gonna put a university? University. Well, let's go ahead and get some more. Start putting some education out. Let's put one here. One here. These are elementary schools. Here and one here. Down here, we'll put one here, one here, one here, one. Maybe one out in the middle somewhere. Oh, somebody needs water. Yes, you do. <sighs> Elementary school. Over here, no elementary school. One there. One there. One there. One there. High schools. High school. Put elementary schools over here. Yes, I did. High school. Slap a high school in here. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. Just have to slap one down here. need three there but I probably do need three over here because this is high density
We'll see. It's time to turn up education too. So where was I gonna put a university? University. Where would I like to put a university? Most of my people are up here, so yeah. Fix the electricity I just broke. water oh yes you do okay so that's why we were having trouble getting workers here they need educated workers and that's going to take a minute I didn't realize just because the building is high density that means they now have to be educated kind of weird but okay that's what it takes That's what it takes. And I'll eventually need a cemetery out here. So. See if I got garbage collection out here. Yeah, but it's going to need more. And a cemetery. Just kidding. Everything is awesome. Demand for more people? Really? Really? Electricity, water, sewer, garbage, garbage, garbage. School's getting there. I was a little late putting in schools. Nobody's sick. Very few. Dying. Traffic. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, traffic lights. Yeah, that's what traffic lights do. The small independent towns are not working. It's not working. We got service vehicles coming in here. Delivery trucks is okay. Driving to a shop. Driving to work. Yeah. Makes sense. Since I gave them no shopping over here. Let me throw in some low density 
until they get some education going. Make it all low density until we get some educated workers. So everybody's going shopping. I got a bunch of people over here. Almost 4,000. And they all want to go shopping. So they're coming over here, over here, over here, because I didn't give them any shopping over here. That was my fault. Well, I gave them shopping, but there were no educated workers to be able to use those shops. So until they get educated, and I'm working on it. 5% at least made it through elementary school. But until they get educated, I can't use high density commercial. So high density commercial and education are not Related. Interesting. What did I just say? I think what I just said probably made no sense. Levels. You know how industry, a level one building in industry, Well, this is specialized industry. A level one building in industry. All uneducated. All uneducated. So that's why I wasn't educating my people yet. Commercial, all uneducated. Level one commercial, all uneducated. You need water. Yes, you do. But level one high density requires education. I did not know that. I have a thousand hours in this game. And I did not know that. I've got over a thousand hours in this game. So all these people went to go somewhere else. They all ended up coming down over here. <laughs> Where are you guys going? And you're to doing a U-turn. That's all wrong. That is not viable. Thank you. You either. That is not permitted. So why are some heavy trucks coming this way? What's the deal? Where are you going? Wait. Where are you going? Returning to facility. Where is your facility? How did you end up over there? Sometimes I don't know. How do you end up in the left lane having to turn left? Oh, 
for some reason the game mapped him this way instead of this way. Maybe it saw it as easier. How about you? And it hadn't had time to, same deal. And it hadn't had time to straighten itself up. Once it straightens itself up, they'll quit doing that. Because that's just ridiculous. All they had to do was turn left here, and they go straight in. But no, they had to go right, left, and then you turn. Crazy people. He's doing it correctly. He's going right where he needs to go. Those guys just hadn't hadn't resolved. Oh, okay. I do see one issue I have. I need to move this. Yeah, I didn't want to put it near the farms. It needs to be here. But that's the issue, this guy right here. I know where I'm going to put it. There we go. Now he's far enough away. He doesn't bother the cemetery. He's not bothering the farms. He'll need water. And he's got electricity running right through it. Okay. There's no need for any trucks coming up here now. Except for the ones that are stuck and have to go around and come back. Come find him over here. I didn't do that anywhere else, did I? Nope. Over here, I put it in industry area. I just didn't have any dirty industry over here. It's farms. And as far as I don't know if it needs two or not, but I've got two for this area, so I guess I'd better put two for each of these areas. Oops, somebody doesn't have water. I see that. This guy's garbage collection is... Yeah, where is it? Oh, over here. Oh, you've got three. Why'd I give you three? Why are you special? You don't need three. I see that. This town gets two. This town gets two. This town gets two. And if I given this, and I gave this town two, but this one will need more because, well, High density. I bet we've got people walking down. One. Yep. We've got people walking down here now. How's the education going? 10% have made it through elementary school. What are you guys screaming for? Not enough buyers. Well, that's what these guys are for. And at the moment, they want some more. So, 
There you go. I guess I got me a little space between the university. But there's a demand for people. People. I just threw almost 4,000 people in here. Why is there such a huge demand for more people? <sighs> I'm not putting them in Dayton or Coryville or Bonneville or Amityville. See, I was hoping and it started working out pretty well. I built Amityville. And there was very, very little traffic coming in and out from the road, highway. In other words, and I see somebody needs water. Get closer, I can see what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Let's come out over and down. Um, what I was trying, trying to say is what's up? I didn't realize time was almost up and I'm in, I'm needed in a few minutes. That's okay. What was the phone notification? Oh, nobody. Okay. What I was trying to say is I built Amityville and because the people to jobs to shopping was balanced. There was very little movement in and out of town. Then I built Bonneville. And again, it was a pretty balanced little town. Very little going on. Then I built Coryville. Again, pretty balanced little town. Not much movement going on. And then city services, I didn't have the bridge yet. And then when people started passing away, I had a cemetery trying to reach people over here and couldn't. So I built a bridge. And then when I built the bridge, People all of a sudden wanted to start going everywhere. People here weren't satisfied with shopping here and working here. They wanted to go shop and work somewhere else. It just, yeah. I was hoping to be able to build small towns that were self-reliant and self-sufficient knowing that city services were going to just do what they please because there's nothing you can do about it. And I was hoping the only things in and out of towns was the occasional tourist, the occasional family going to a leisure park, and the occasional exporting of goods and importing of goods. But the game doesn't really give you that kind of control. No matter how much you want it. It just doesn't do it. Why are we having an issue here? 
There should be no issue here. How did I miss you? How did I miss that one place right there? Causing me all my problems. see no nope. hmm the issue is how can anybody in the right lane make it into the left lane they have to be able to do it from here I suppose and the game is terrible about going from four lanes to three lanes you need the ability to go here or there You're in the middle lane already, so you're okay. And you need the ability to go here or there. That's gonna put everybody in the middle lane. Pretty much. Hmm, even the ones. I guess that's okay. All right, it is that time of day. <clears throat> May have to rethink some things tomorrow. Save small town. Small town. Let's check my city statistics before I go. Hmm. Quit to the desktop. My uh, YouTube viewers and subscribers, thank you very much. I sure appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.